All right, today we are working on a super practical AI powered hotel search and recommendation system. And yes, we have recently built our trip planning agents project. And those agents also helped us with hotel recommendation, but today's project uses a completely different approach for finding hotels and recommendations. So by the end of this video, you'll have a system that does everything to find you the best hotels. As always, you'll find a link to the collab file in the description of this video, and we'll go through each part of the code step by step, explaining everything in detail. So let's jump right in. To start things off, we're going to load hotel listings data from a JSON file, and then extract specific details about each hotel. As you can see, we imported a module called JSON, which can load JSON data into Python. Then we define a variable called file path, pointing at the location of the JSON file. This will be where our information about hotels will be pulled from. Now, the data has a lot of things in it, but we need only a few details from it. So we will create a list called keys to extract that includes keys like the hotel's URL, name, type, description, stars, price, and so on. The main function here would be load hotel listings. It opens a JSON file, and then we can load the data returned from the function call into a variable called data and loop over each item in this data. The extracted values are stored in a list called hotel listings. Once all the hotels have been processed, we return the list. And after that, we call the function with the line load hotels listings and store the result in hotel listings. We print out how many hotel listings we have loaded and details of the first hotel listing so we can confirm if the data has been loaded and is correct. Now that we have loaded the hotel data, let's serialize it with this function called serialize hotel listing, which takes a single hotel listing and prints it out in a readable form. It first pulls out the hotel URL, name, description, address, stars, ratings, reviews, and breakfast type. Each of these will be checked, and if the field is missing, it defaults to n slash a. Then we scrape the room type and price along with features of the first room if there is any information on rooms for a hotel listing. The facility might also show up if available for a hotel. Then we scrape the name of each facility and add it to the output. At last, if an image is present for the particular listing, we add the image URL too. All this data are stored and then we return the results with nice formatting. Now that we have the hotel data serialized and formatted, the next thing to do is split the data into smaller chunks. This is necessary because when working with large text data, especially for AI models, there is usually a limit on how much data can be processed at once. To handle this, we import a tool called Recursive Character Text Splitter, which breaks down the long hotel descriptions into small chunks. We then initialize it with two key parameters, chunk size, which controls the size of each chunk, and chunk overlap, which ensures some overlap between chunks for better context preservation. Then we iterate over our serialized list of hotel listings and split each listing using the split text method. Okay, so now we have chunked up data. Now it's time to embed this data and store it inside a vector database. This is where embeddings come into play. So first we import OpenAI embeddings and Chroma. We also import the class document from langchain.schema to store our chunks in a properly structured way. Before going ahead, we need to load our API key to use OpenAI models. And as always, we use .env for that. Now that we have done this, for every chunk, we create a document object that includes metadata on the source of the chunk, and we store these in a list called documents. Finally, we start the Chroma vector database and efficiently store the embeddings there. With the data now ingested and stored in the database, we create a retriever for the database. This retriever will give us relevant documents for our searches. We call the asRetriever method on the database, passing the search kw args to limit the number of results to 10. Then we test the retriever by providing a query like hotels near Toronto airport. The retriever processes this query and returns the top 10 matching documents. For each document, we print the first 200 characters of its content as a preview along with its metadata. This helps us confirm that the retriever is working correctly and pulling correct information. Now we will create our own custom search tool for hotel information. To do this, we use base tool from Crew AI tools. Here, booking search tool is a class that inherits from base tool with a name and description to specify that it deals with hotel information searches. Main function is run, which takes a query and processes it through the QA chain, and the result contains the answer or output you can see in the code. Finally, we create an instance of this tool by calling booking search tool. And just like that, we have a custom tool ready to handle hotel related queries. After that, our second tool is calculator, which will help us to do some calculations. Next, we set up additional tools and agents for our travel assistant. First, we import the Google Places tool to gather information about nearby places. Then we load our Google Places API key from the env file. After that, we initialize the Google Places tool and combine it with the other tools we have already built, like the booking tool and the calculator tool, into a list called tools. Now it's finally time to define agents. So let's make two agents, travel expert and the hotel reviewer. The travel expert is responsible for finding available hotels based on input criteria like check-in dates, number of guests, and other specific information. Meanwhile, the hotel reviewer evaluates these hotels, comparing them based on amenities, price, and guest reviews. 
Now that we have our agent set up, let's define the tasks they'll perform. First, we create a task for the travel expert agent called hotel search task. This involves searching for five hotels in a specific location for a given number of people with check-in and check-out dates. The expected output is a detailed list of hotels. Next, we define the hotel review task for the hotel reviewer agent. Based on the hotels found by the travel expert, this task involves selecting the best options based on ratings, reviews, available facilities, and budget. The expected output includes details like price, URL, and images for the selected hotels. Once both tasks are defined, we combine them into a crew using the crew class. The tasks will run sequentially, meaning the travel expert will perform the search first, followed by the hotel reviewer evaluating the results. We also specify event criteria, which includes the location, check-in, check-out dates, number of people, and budget. Finally, we kick off the process by calling the kickoff method on the travel agent crew, passing the event criteria to get the best hotel recommendations. We are already finished with our project and we have everything in place, but if you just want to go one step further and you want to make your project interactive, you can also create a simple UI using Gradio, which allows users to input travel details and receive hotel recommendations with ease. To do this, first we import Gradio, the crew, and process classes from Crew AI. The function run travel agent crew holds the logic for running the hotel search process. It takes inputs such as location, check-in and check-out dates, the number of people, and budget, passing them to our travel agent crew. Then we set up the event criteria from the user's input and call the kickoff method on the crew to carry out the process. Also, we will convert the result to markdown for a clean display. Next, we build a Gradio interface where users can input their details. The output will display in markdown format, showing the best hotel options based on the user's preferences. Finally, we launch the Gradio app and you will have an interactive and user-friendly project. And that's it. We've built a fully AI-powered hotel search and recommendation system using Python, Langchain, OpenAI Embeddings, and Crew AI. It automatically searches for hotels, reviews them, and suggests the best option based on your input. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for more AI tutorials. This project is part of the Gen AI and LLM projects playlist. Make sure you check out other projects in this playlist. As you probably know by now, I'm the founder at Armor AI, and it'll be awesome if you could sign up, try out the product, and give us a detailed feedback. Don't forget to join our Discord server, the link for which is in my YouTube profile. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.